607 now on this Thursday morning. Hello, Autumn. Hello, Russ. Greg. Yes, and here comes Autumn, absolutely, with uh, more of that late summer weather again. Due to the high pressure ridge that's been over the West Coast for the last few days, you can see now it's getting squeezed. In fact, this incoming uh, jet stream here, which packs quite a punch, there's some tropical moisture embedded in that. Uh, most of that steers towards the north and central coast. In fact, the outer coast of Vancouver Island gets hit pretty hard with the rain sometime tonight. But by the time that system moves across the lower mainland, it really enters the split flow. Half of the energy sort of tracks to the south around this low and the other half to the north and it'll sort of peel apart and we'll get some rain tomorrow but I'm not calling it a stormy second day of fall at all. Over the west coast we've got just enough of that squeezed high pressure ridge to leave us in the clear again for today but it really narrows out tomorrow when things change and of course that low that's over the uh, sort of uh, western states continues to feed moisture north of the border into parts of southern Alberta. A rainy day in Calgary. Lots of cloud cover moving into Edmonton. Lots of clouds across Regina. Looks like you'll end up in the clear with at least a partly sunny day in Winnipeg and for southern Ontario, southern Quebec, enjoy a little bit of clearing for today and today only. Things really change once this cold front slumps south of the area. That begins tonight as the rain spreads in and it's considerably colder tomorrow, but at least for today as it begins clouding over, it'll be 29 degrees in Toronto, about 24 in Ottawa, about 19 in Quebec City. Again, advancing clouds today, maybe a late day shower, definitely showers or thunder showers tonight and trending significantly colder for tomorrow in eastern Canada. Uh, here on the west coast, well, it's beautiful today, 20 degrees for the first afternoon of fall. Again, we have some sun left over for today. A wholesale change tomorrow. Not only overcast, but windy and wet, 17 degrees in the rain. And then we fix the forecast up before we even get to the first weekend of fall. It's back to back, partly sunny days, temperatures in the 20s, more sun early next week. And again, just as mild, near record highs, 22 degrees. Okay, Thor, over to you, bud. So tomorrow, I better get